guys, how you doing? This is Mango Search, and I'm here today to bring the review for One Piece manga chapter 980. And our last chapter was saying it's about time some action started popping off. And what do I get next chapter? You know, what's some action popping off? And now, right now, I don't know how I feel, but as I'm recording this, maybe I put two and two together and I have a definitive answer for you. But oh my god. But basically, at the end of this day, all this chapter is about is that Luffy and Zoro have bailed themselves out. So now basically they know that the Straw Hats, are, at least just the Straw Hats, are here. Actually, by the end of the chapter as well, the Kid Pirates. <laughs> but anyway, they know that they are here now. So infiltration out the window. As you know, infiltration was going to go out the window at some point. There was no way that they was doing this fully free stuff. But I think the stuff is trying to happen sooner rather than later nowadays when, they, when they're trying to infiltrate. You might as well just forget infiltrating altogether and just go gun ho all the way. But anyway, before the action pops off within the chapter, we have this bit with Queen. And now uh, he's saying that there's someone within the Flying Six that he doesn't like. That he's willing to get rid of and he then offers that seat up to um the basically the brothers saying that yo he's bringing because at first uh apu mentions that how as uh, um luffy's there so queen offers up this seat to the person who can capture luffy uh some people are on it they're on board of trying this but some people are there and uh, that's, that's, that's that's no point in trying if we're not a gift that we probably won't get that but then, in hops in Scratch himself. And he has a fight with Luffy and Zoro. And now this fight is really interesting for me. So, we still don't know the name of his devil's fruit. We still don't know the ins and outs of his devil's fruit. But we do get to see bits and bobs of it. So, one thing I want to do mention that I've realised is that, okay, so there is a range. There's a range that he can hit from. And now... He seems to be able to do impact moves, which is on Luffy, and he seems to be able to do slashing attacks as well. And now, the first thing I want to talk about is the impact move that he did, or he did two to him. <laughs> the impact move that he did to um to Luffy, now this hurt Luffy. And now, the first immediate thought I, um, you, well, I thought, the first immediate thought I had was, okay, did he use Haki on this attack? And now, I don't think that's the case. I'm not saying that he won't have Haki, but I don't think that's the case for this attack. And now, uh, what I think, because obviously we don't know the ins and outs of his devil fruit yet, but what I think he did was something on the lines of the way how Jimby can attack Luffy and her arm harm him through, like, the uh, the water within his body, maybe in the water within Luffy's body. So I think it's something similar to that. As I said, he does impact, he does explosive attacks as well, and slashing attacks. And now, when he attacks Zoro with the slashing attack, Zoro does mention that there was, um, he didn't see no trajectory coming towards him, and, like, it was just sudden. So, like, I'm starting to think that Scratch's attacks... Uh, I'm trying to think of something... To compare it to, I know there's some. I know there's another. There's another example of this somewhere where I've seen something like this before, where where there's no build up. There's like there's no coming towards. It, it's just boom. It's there, kind of like um. It's there, kind of like I've not seen something like that somewhere else. I can't, I can't remember right now. But basically, at the beginning of things, like halfway through the chapter, I'm thinking to myself, oh. Maybe I haven't been given Scratch enough credit because before this, and this is all like opinion based on pre times. I'm like Scratch is a scrub. Like he's Scratch is a scrub. I was thinking that's that's what I was thinking, and I was just I always go back when I was having this conversation. I remember that I was always go back to when we see him in the new world for the first time when he's struggling with that. I think it was like a pig thing. And the rest of his crew are just watching, and he's struggling to fight it, and then he has to bail out of there. And I was thinking, from that moment, I was thinking, 
he's a scrub. Scratch is a scrub. He's not going to be up to par when it comes to a fight of anybody, anybody big in the game. But within this chapter, at least in the middle of this, when I was in the middle of the chapter, I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh. He's holding his own against both Luffy and Zoro at the same time. So I was like, well, okay, okay, maybe I owe a man an apology. But as the chapter goes on, and we get to that towards the end of it, Luffy's like, oh, Zoro, I'm, I'm okay, I'm good, I'm good. But before that, I was like, he just took an explosion, he was like, uh, but he said he's good, so like, I don't, I don't know now. But what is definite is that Scratch can get the hits in for both of them. So I guess at the end, of, I don't, I still don't know. But at the, at the end of the day, he's definitely stronger than I was expecting him to be. I know that took me by surprise. So the last thing to talk about is just kids involvement within the chapter so we see him he's still trying to be stealth kind of surprisingly because we um because we always have this thing with how Luffy and Kid are similar but he's actually Kid was actually on the stealth thing but once he sees Scratch and rightly so as well because Scratch did him dirty Scratch did him dirty I can feel for Kid for that one because when I see, if I was a kid, when I see Scratch, when I see Hawkins, it's just on site. And that, that's what he's doing within this chapter. He sees Scratch, he's like, no, no, Punk Gisborne, or whatever, whatever the attack is called. So it looks like we are going into a kid versus Scratch fight. And now I love that. I will, I will take that as a, first, as a first fight. I will take that simply because I've always, I've always liked the idea of supernova fights. Mostly, mostly uh, Luffy or Zoro versus another supernova. But if it can be Kid and another supernova, I'll, I'll take it. Wait, and especially Kid has a grudge to um, Kid's on a grudge right now, so I will take it. So this will be a dirty fight. Well, it should be a dirty fight if it goes um. Smoothly and um, smoothly, and it doesn't get interrupted by anything. But also, just another thing that I want to add: seeing as how we have a kid versus um Hawkins, kid versus a poo incoming, I just want to say that it might be plausible that kid may, because obviously, part of maybe part of the reason why uh Luffy and Zoro were struggling, struggling in the beginning of the chapter is because well. In the midst, in the middle of the chapter, beginning of the chapter, whatever, um, simply was because they don't understand how his devil fruit ability works. But I think what a kid will have an easier time dealing with a poo is because he may know more about uh, a poo's devil fruit ability. And the reason why I think this is because even though uh, a poo was kind of lying, he was a part of an alliance. And now uh, I'm pretty sure, yeah, 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 yeah. Because when Haw I'm not Hawkins, when Law and Luffy uh, lined with each other, they exchanged some information. But that was just about Haki. Uh, but imagining that every alliance does this, well, not every alliance, but like most alliances do this when they meet, they may have talked about Haki and them through abilities as well. So maybe not everything. But even if it was everything, I reckon Apu would be willing to do that, even if he was like a traitor, because he might be under the impression that, oh, it doesn't matter if they get the million pick, because at the end of the day, I'm with Kaido, and Kaido ain't no scrub, he ain't no full victim to these guys, so you know what, I'll tell them everything I can do, because at the end of the day, it's not going to be a problem. But yeah, I really enjoyed this chapter. And for those reasons, because kids surprise I'm not kids, because um Scratch surprised me. I'm gonna bump up to a four star rating for this week. Unfortunately, wait, hold on, let me do the mask quickly. Yeah, there's no chapter next week, which is unfortunate. Probably because of the lockdown and everything that's going on during there. But I have more One Piece content for you, so check out the videos that are on this page. Maybe save them for later if you haven't seen them already, but if you want to watch them straight away, go ahead. I do not mind. Like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you have not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.